Hi everyone, thank you for watching another video with me. I'm Mary Scarpati, and today I'm making a video with my boyfriend Matt to explain how we met and how we started dating. And I thought this would be an interesting video because I have a whole series on single advice and when I was single I made a ton of videos on single life because I felt like, especially in the Catholic world, there wasn't enough voices like talking about being single and waiting for like a while to meet the right person. Even if you were, like I was dating a lot of people but I just hadn't met anyone that I was serious about and I especially wanted to meet someone that shared my faith. And yeah, that's where Matt comes in. <laughs> Do you remember? We have a little bit of confusion on how, we know where we first met, which is, yeah, we met at a uh, we met at a Christmas party in uh, 2018, I think. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, we just uh, we just met there and got to chatting, and uh, I think that was I think that was our first meeting. Yeah. So the confusion is if he walked up to me or I walked up to him. He 100% walked up to me. I remember where I was standing. <laughs> probably, probably. I was snacking on something. I don't remember. We were in like a dining room at the party. It was no, a house party. no, you know, it was, it was like a year after I had gotten into, um, you know, getting more into my Catholic faith and stuff like that. And I, not recently, but I, I had been through, about a year before I had been through a kind of big breakup and, uh, and my, my college girlfriend and I uh, decided that we were meant for different paths. Uh, so I made a commitment that I was going to try to find Catholic friends in my area, meet more Catholic people, and you know, uh, one of the, one of the organizations for Catholic young adults in Austin, uh, I started going to their events and I think it was the anniversary of when I started going. It was like the second Christmas party I had gone to my first, uh, event in this Catholic young adults group was a Christmas party in 2017. So 2018 marked the exact one year anniversary, and that's where I met Mary, yeah. I made a commitment to like stay consistent with their events, to you know meet up with friends, to talk to new people, and um, I ran into this delightful little redhead right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, so I had been on and off going to events for the same Catholic group. I, um, I had been going to groups, I had been going to events on and off for the same Catholic group, but we had never met. It's so weird. I don't know why we never saw each other before, but I remember seeing him at the party and thinking, I have a, an affinity for tall, dark, and handsome men. So when I saw Matt, I was like, I've definitely never seen that guy before, but he's really cute. And I remember saying after, so he went up to me. And he said, do you remember what you said? I said, what's going good in your life? <laughs> and at that time, my life was like kind of tumultuous. I was like in between jobs. I I was just like really stressed. I was thinking about moving back to New York um, from Austin. And so I talked about my dog, Tucker. But to be fair, Tucker's always consistently good in my life. And I was like, it's a safe topic because I have nothing else I really want to talk about right now. So I talked about Tucker and then he basically was like, okay, bye. <laughs> he barely talked to me. Not true. No, that's probably what happened. You barely talked to me. Well, I mean, you know. You're I... like, okay, cool. Oh, bye. Okay, hold on. Like as a single beautiful Catholic woman, I wasn't going to be like, stealing up all your time. I was like, all right, she's got other people to talk to. You know? Dude, I would have appreciated some more time stealing. <laughs> he was like there for five seconds and ran away. Mm. <laughs> no, no, no. You know, like it, I, I remember her, she made an impact, an impression on me. And, you know, I was like, I, I'd never seen her before. You know, I mean, 
comment down below if you agree, but uh, kind of hard to forget Mary Scarpatti. Mary so sweet. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I had never, it was like she said, I had never seen her before. I completely thought I was never going to see her again. I was Same. like, you know, it's cool. The conversation was fun. It was flirty, but you know, it's, it's over now and we'll move on with our lives. Yeah, no information was exchanged. I honestly didn't think I'd ever see him again. It was such a brief interaction, but I definitely was like, I have never seen that guy before, and I thought he was so handsome. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was just kind of, I especially at that point, like being single for as long as I'd been single, like I just kind of left things up to God and was like, you know, if it's meant to be, it'll be, and I'll see him more, and if it's not, it's not. So what worked out is our good friend Hope started a like hiking group and she started having like people just, it's so weird because we had the same friends. So we had like two mutual friends that we had known before we ever met for at least a year. And we never met each other, but then those two people started inviting us to events mm -hmm. where the other person was at. So it's just like weird how timing happens and we kept getting invited to things and I like so we went to gelato mm -hmm. that was the second time we had seen each other and it was like our probably most memorable interaction because we sat next to each other and we were just finishing each other's sentences like vibing off of each other mm -hmm. I'll say and we were laughing a lot, but it's and I felt like sparks, but it scared me because I like knew in my heart Matt was younger than me, and I was like, I can't date someone younger than me. She doesn't date younger guys. I had never dated a younger guy, and this is like so stupid, but like at the time I was like embarrassed that I liked you. You, you hear that? <laughs> you hear that, folks? She was embarrassed. It had that nothing she liked to do me. with you. I Ridiculous. thought it was. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You. I thought you were now so you're handsome. sharing this with the internet. I thought you were irresistible, um, but I believable. I was like, I this is true because I think honestly women should hear this because I I wish somebody would have just been like, no, it's totally fine, not weird at all that you like this guy that's like obviously younger than you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Matt is four and a half years younger than me. Mm. So for perspective, I was torturing Love face. He's so handsome though and very right. and now like after time it's not like Matt's just younger than me and not mature like Matt's very very mature I would say more mature than me sometimes and I never feel like now that we're in a relationship that he's younger than me and honestly his behavior never said to me he's younger than me I just knew like I have a pretty good gauge of ages I just knew in my heart he was younger than me so I was really self-conscious about it and I judged myself really hard and harshly and I was kind of like there's no way I can date this guy because he's younger mm. and it's just off the table. No, I mean I can understand that like you know maybe like you have a certain age range that you're comfortable with you know and as you go through certain times of your life you know maybe maybe like your criteria changes or you know obviously as you get older you know you're you know okay the youngest i can date is this age the youngest i can date is this age so no i, I mean i i can understand that it's just fun to give her a hard time yeah and obviously because i came she waited around so long that's right <laughs> so long so at gelato sparks flew he didn't do anything. Also, like, at the time, I think I was like, and he's also not making a move. Like, there's obviously a vibe there. Even our friend messaged me after that and was like, Mary, you and Matt were really, like, sparks were flying. And I was like, no, they weren't. <laughs> I was like, absolutely not. They were not. Mm -hmm. And I just was silly at the time. And then... We were friends for a while. Yeah. We were friends for like six months mm -hmm. before anything happened. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember anything else significant in our friendship period before things 
started to take a turn. So what happened was, is we met at a Christmas party in 2018, and then I fully expected never to see her again. Fully expected to never see her again. And then I think Gelato, um, my, one of our friends like invited a bunch of us to Gelato, and I was like, yeah, you know, I've never tried Gelato, I'll, I'll give it a, I'll take a whack at it. And, um, so I tried, I went to Gelato, and who should be there but Mary Scarpetti. And the seat next to her was, was open, I'm like, it's my destiny. Meanwhile, I had just like broken, broken up from dating some guy we weren't in a relationship. Yeah. And I showed up with no makeup on and sweatpants to this event. Mm. Looking ratchet. I, 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 I remember when you came in, I was like, oh God, this guy's yeah. there? <laughs> uh oh, I look like a crazy person, but then I was like, "What am I gonna do?" Yeah, and then and then we got to chatting. You know, it was it was a very flirtatious con conversation. You know, I mean, you know, she, she wanted me quite a bit. <laughs> um, no. Oh my gosh, Matt! <laughs> Don't make me sound terrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like honestly, you know, there was a lot of flirtation. You know, I thought she was very pretty, very charming. It was a, it was a lovely conversation, but. You know, it was only her second time hanging out, so I was still like, okay, you know, interesting and fun, but probably never gonna see her again. Yeah, it's so weird. I kept thinking like I was every time, see every her time again. we hung out, I was like, you know, mentally thought to myself, like I'm never gonna see her again. So, uh, but no, we just we kept uh, we just kept turning up at the same things, and uh, you know, I kept liking you more and more. Yeah. Yeah. I remember so. After Gelato, I really honestly only thought of him as a friend. We would see each other quite a bit more, and I I honestly did not at all think of him as more than a friend. And we were always in group groups hanging out. We weren't like alone hanging out together. So one thing that happened that was the first time we basically were on like kind of alone mm -hmm. was after a movie we went to see with a group of friends. Oh, yeah. Another um, ice cream event. We went to Amy's ice cream in Austin we sure and everybody like for some reason you and I ended up together <laughs> on the ice cream <laughs> line and I remember just like it was our first one-on-one -on -one conversation and I remember thinking I wonder if this is like what a date with him would feel like. Mm. Mm. But that was way before we ever dated. That was when I found out that she loves Star Trek. No. This girl, you guys don't know this, but no. this girl, serious Star Trek. -y. No. <laughs> and uh she But that guy. She won't that guy. She is. won't start up stop a uh, ear in <laughs> me about watching well, Star Trek. What do they speak? Klingon? <laughs> is that Star Trek? Sure. I'm not a huge Trekkie, but we just got to chatting about Star Trek. We How? Were, we were flirting about it. That's just the that's just kind of the dynamic we have. We flirt about random stuff. See, he calls it flirting. I call it communicating. Chemistry. chemistry. We do have chemistry. Can you smell that? I smell chemistry. <laughs> no, but uh, no, you know, uh, we, she's right. We ended up alone and, uh, you know, we got to flirting and this is kind of natural, natural talking. We got more comfortable with each other. These, it's kind of how things go. And, um, <laughs> I remember, I remember catching her staring at me a couple times. I see he says this, but I honestly don't remember staring at him. Matthew knows when Mary's staring at him. <laughs> I, I swear I she don't remember staring this. At me. She was staring at me. But then like afterwards we had like a really lively conversation. It wasn't like uh, just the two of us though. It was us and some friends. Uh, it was like in a group, so we yeah. just happened to be alone for that ice cream part. Yeah, it was it was like uh, it was like she said, it was like probably our first time alone, you know, uh, where we got like a moment just the two of us, not so much distractions. But we were still like at a friend event, so you know, we and still we were had to still hang out. Yeah, we very still, much friends yeah, at that. Yeah, we had we had moved our relationship to the next level. Yeah, because um, that was like a few months before we <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, or anything more. But uh, no, we, we, you know, we had us and the friends have a lively conversation. That was that was really nice. Caught her staring at me, and um, <laughs> I remember that I had uh, I I had some issues with the ice cream. I had to get 
I had to scurry away real quick. Oh God! <laughs> and, uh, but uh, no, I mean it was it was a memorable night, and I think at that point I was like, okay, this this girl's obviously you know God continues to put her in my life, so maybe maybe something's happening here. Like, you know, I wouldn't go so far as to say, oh, I want to you know I want to date this girl. Like we should take it. But it was still like, she's here for a reason. And even if we didn't date, like, we can make good friends. We get along yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I think we were both fine with but just being friends. It was, it, was, it was like that point where I went from, okay, probably never going to see her again to, uh, you know, going to probably see her quite a bit. I always have a great time chatting with her, you know. And, um... You know, this, regardless of where she ends up in my life, as a friend, or as a, you know, a girlfriend, you know, it would be nice to have her in my life. Thanks. Yeah, I, I really began to look forward to seeing Matt, because we ended up seeing each other at, like, multiple events. It wasn't just, like, I was seeing you a couple times a month. Mm. At least. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, one event... Matt came in the door and I just remember being so excited to see him because I knew I was going to have a good time because he was there and it wasn't like romantic in any way. I just was so happy he was there because I knew I was going to have a fun time. He always made me laugh. He was just like really easy to talk to and fun and I don't know about you guys but if you've been to any young adult groups, especially like Catholic young adult groups, sometimes it can be hard to like engage with people there so it was nice to know that I had someone there that I could talk to mm. that I was gonna I knew I was gonna have a fun time yeah you know and and it was you know we were still friends but I got I started to get excited whenever I saw her as well and uh you know I I, I still you know introduced my guy friends to her you know I wasn't laying claim or anything but uh you know I started looking forward to seeing her we always had great conversations Started looking forward to little Mary being around. Little Mary. <laughs> this is a new thing. I haven't heard this before. Oh my gosh, I sound like a little person. Oh. Little house on the prairie. Little oh. Mary. <laughs> Thanks, my love. You're welcome, baby. Okay, so now let's get into the phase of our relationship where you almost asked me out. <laughs> so we were at... Check out this story. We were at... Should I tell it from my perspective or your perspective? You can give it from both perspectives. Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah. But would you prefer your perspective Just first? For it, baby. Okay. So we were at our friend Luke's comedy show. If you he's been in some of our videos, so yeah, shout awesome. out to Luke. Um, what video is he in again, baby? The Valentine's Day one. Yeah. So if you're wondering who Luke is. Check him out there. Check out the Valentine's Day. He'll probably Day. turn up has a, Yeah, he has a shout out. So we were at Luke's comedy show and we we were <laughs> walking out and again, it was like another group of that. We were really never hanging out alone. Mm -hmm. And it just so happened that we ended up just talking to each other by ourselves. Yeah. And it was the first time Matt told me that I was, I think you told me I looked dazzling. Mm. Or really beautiful i don't remember the word but it was like it took me off guard because men don't normally even like guys i've dated don't compliment my looks mm -hmm. so i was like oh my gosh like is he gonna ask me out and then the way he was looking at me and like just the i i, I want to say almost the energy of this situation like i could feel that he was gonna ask me out and i was like Surprisingly more interested than I thought I would be, but I was also like, I'm not ready for this. I was this. still too young. I yeah, exactly. No, I was just, really still in my head. No matter at this age. how much you age, I'm still. No matter was, how old I get, I'm still. You're younger, still gonna be younger. Than younger me. than Mary, so but I can't catch a break. You know? I, I, excuse me, it worked out fine for you. Okay, I'm not gonna listen to you <laughs> cry about yeah. being young because yeah. it worked out fine but it just took me a minute to get my head around it so uh <laughs> i i basically got really nervous because i had a feeling he was gonna ask me out and our friend ray came up and was like hey i'm leaving and i was like i'm leaving too that's right she ran away i ran away, ran away. i was a little chicken but then i turned around 
and I said, you're coming to the event on Thursday, right? That was my way of like, it was like a Monday. That was my way of giving him encouragement. Like, all hope is not lost, but I'm just not ready. Sure. That well, was in my head, that's what I thought I was doing. I didn't want to fully discourage you. Sure. Because I, I think in my heart I knew something was there, I just wasn't ready. Sure. No, I, I, I can understand that. And, you know, I, I, uh, I, it was, it's exactly like she said. Um, for those of you who aren't in Austin, uh, first of all, Austin, Texas. If like maybe you live in Austin, you're new to Austin, you're thinking about moving to Austin, maybe you're in Austin for a business trip, I don't know. But uh, Austin has a pretty thriving Catholic young community, young adult community. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a pretty good comedy scene. Not so Catholic, but um, you know, if you're, <laughs> yeah, if you're into live comedy, Austin's, you know, we're well known for music, I think, but you know, it's also pretty good for live comedy. Uh, pretty good for uh, young Catholic, Catholic young adults. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of young adult mm -hmm. events, like at least once a week. Yeah, and there's a lot of Catholic churches. The Diocese of Austin's uh, pretty got a lot of churches, and a lot of them have like Bible studies. Anyway, uh, no, it's exactly what she said. Uh, one of our friends, Luke, had a comedy show, and at that point, I was like, okay, obviously, you know. I should be a man and, you know, ask her out. And, um, she ran away. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> she ran away. She ran away. I wasn't like, I mean, I didn't, maybe, you know, maybe I was being intense about it. I don't know. You weren't being intense. It was not you. Maybe, at all. maybe, I maybe I was giving like a weird energy. No, it, wa it wasn't weird. I didn't feel like it was weird at all. I didn't feel weird about it. I got nervous. <laughs> and I really wasn't ready like I wasn't I just wasn't ready I don't know how they say it any no, other it's, way it's fine. and I think like there's this book the four agreements and it's like everything people do has everything to do with them and not you and I think this is like a huge encouragement to someone out there watching this video like you know where someone's at might be the reason why they're not open to dating you right now more than who you are what you guys have together because we did have something special I think from the very beginning yeah. But, and there was mutual interest, but I was fighting myself on it. No, like, and I, and you know, I, I, I completely understand that. Like, she wasn't, she wasn't at the point in her life, and I think that if I had asked her out, you know, things probably wouldn't have worked out as well as they could have. Yeah, I think it would have been a harder beginning. Yeah, so. I think it would have been a harder beginning because I had. We, we joke, but honestly, like, I, things worked out the way they were supposed to. Like, she wasn't ready. That wasn't my night, you know, so, uh, but you know, I mean, it, it, it's still, uh, it's still, uh, it's still like sprinkled a little bit of, uh, rain clouds on my bright disposition. Mm, and I was like, sorry. well, I was like, um, you know, maybe, maybe she's not as interested as I thought. I'll, you know, back off. Um, and we'll just continue as friends. Cause we were still friends. Like nobody had broached that subject yeah and i think that that was good i think that you know we didn't have to have that awkward conversation of like oh i'm not ready right now like you know it's nothing about you it's me yada 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 because we were we we were good friends at that point neither one of us had you know mentioned dating and uh, so it was just like okay well we'll just continue the same way we always have and it'll be fine you know i enjoy having her in my life you know but after that, he continued to compliment me. Yeah, well, just in case you guys don't know, just in case, a little bit, a little secret. I'll just say it quietly <laughs> so she can't hear. She loves compliments. <laughs> don't blow up my spot, Matthew. My Mary, God. Mary loves oh my compliments. Mary's a sucker for compliments. Um, not by everyone, oh, and sure. I don't like disingenuous compliments. But like, <laughs> I. Always knew his compliments were heartfelt. Yeah, they, and, they genuinely were because we were we were still friends. Like it wasn't. Yeah. I, I wasn't like trying to get anything from he her. He wasn't being like sleazy yeah. about it. Like I've had guys say things to me that I was like, "That's not true," or "You're just saying this to get something from me." Mm -hmm. Whereas Matt was genuinely just complimenting mm -hmm. me and just like being really sweet. And mm -hmm. I, you know, Matt has the kindest heart. So okay. 
So my biggest reservations with Matthew was one, I was afraid he couldn't be serious, and two, because he's really funny and like he leads with his funny humor um, in social interactions. So it took a while for you to like show your more serious side. Sure. But as we were like friends longer and longer, he showed his like Matt is the kindest, most thoughtful, most like genuine, most loving person I have ever met and so unselfish and humble and like such a good man and he is really funny which is great but i wanted i wanted to be with someone that i also felt could be serious because mm -hmm. i can be really silly like i think also my what i show in public especially like in social interactions is probably like my sillier more boisterous side but I can be very thoughtful and serious. For sure. And I wanted someone that could compliment that side of me too. I didn't want someone that was just like always in it for a good time and not like a thoughtful, serious person. But Matt at one point at a social event said that he went out of his way to talk to other people um, that were alone because he thinks as like Catholics, we should go out of our way and be like kind and welcoming to everybody. And it just like, really touched my heart because I've never known anyone else other than um, me and my twin sister to think like that. Most times people are kind of like, well, you know, I'm uncomfortable doing that so I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. And I was really moved by that. Like that really moved my heart to Matt in like a way I, I think I saw him for the first time for who he truly is, not just like all the little aspects of his personality. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that really was a big shift in my heart and um, that was like the day before I flew to Florida for my grandma's 90th birthday. There's a video on that if you want to see it all. What's it that one called, babe? Uh, my, surprising my grandma for her 90th birthday. Mm, check that one out. Check it out. Over um, there. But don't stop watching this video to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but After, while I was there, I had been talking to this other guy that I knew and like there was romantic interest there and he was just kind of one of those guys that was argumentative to be argumentative and I felt like was always kind of like somewhat putting me down mm -hmm. and I was always really frustrated after our conversations like I always felt kind of confused and frustrated mm -hmm. and I was thinking about our last argument like or like discussion we'd had mm -hmm. and feeling like really kind of frustrated and just like thought about it and thought about him and thought about my life with him if I continued to like see this guy and I just saw myself being like really unhappy and always feeling like I had to be different to be in that relationship and then immediately Matt came into my mind and I just thought I would have be the happiest, I would have the happiest life with him. Like it was this weird feeling from my heart that I thought, I feel like God like honestly put it on my heart. He just like projected this. I wasn't at all thinking about you, but like God was like, you know, that guy, that's what future you'd have. But this guy, you'd be the happiest you've ever been like you'd have the happiest life and you have the life that you've always wanted mm -hmm. and I just felt it in my heart like I it was like a projection of what my life would be like and I was like wow where did that come from mm -hmm. and then I wrestled with myself a little bit more mm -hmm. I'd say that was like early April we didn't start dating till end of May mm -hmm. so I wrestled with myself still about it because sure. I was like He's too young. I'm like so much older than him. It's going to be weird. This guy can't catch a break. He caught a break, okay? It worked out. We've been <laughs> dating for nine months now, so it's not like he, you know, things mm -hmm. things worked out. Mm -hmm. they, but, sure did. they sure did. Um, so that was early April, and then I decided that I was going to try to like green like him mm -hmm. by being like more friendly, more like try to be mo moral over that I liked you. Yeah. But my signs didn't exactly <laughs> work. Yeah. Well, um, timeline's a little fuzzy for me, but uh, uh, 
I think after the comedy show, um, you know, we still hung out. Nobody, we, we never like had a discussion. We had a discussion, like, you know, we, we've, since then we've laughed about it. Like, yeah, no, we've laughed about it. You know, it. oh my God, it was so crazy. Like, but, uh, you know, there, there was no, it, it, it was nice. See, like, it, there wasn't awkward at all. Cause like I said, nobody, neither one of us had broached the subject. So after the comedy show, I continued to, you know, enjoy spending time with her. I continued to, you know, talk to her when I saw her around. And uh, we continued to like, wow, she's a great person. And, and if and if God wants us to only be friends, that's fine, you know. And we don't, I don't, we don't, I don't need anything from her. I don't, you know, I'm I'm happy the way I am, and I'm happy Mary's in my life no matter what. There was one young adult event where she was wearing a green dress. We joke about this all the time. Um, yeah, this is literally the event after I decided to give Matthew the green light. Right, right, right. So they they had a happy hour. The afterwards. green light in my green dress. Mm -hmm. You see how that works out? Yeah, but, I was uh, giving all the signals in my fashion. You were out of control. I had to tell. You were out of control. <laughs> but uh, no, so uh, she had a green dress. They had a they had a happy the event had a happy hour afterwards, and so we went. Me and her and a bunch of our friends went drinking and I talked to her a little bit but I was like, mm, I'm not going to like monopolize her time or anything. But she came up to me to say goodbye. Like she went out of her way to come find me and like, bye Matthew. And so at that point I was like, oh yeah. I went out of my way to sit oh, next yeah. to him too. I was in the front of the room. Oh yeah. And they were, it was like a speaking event first. And I went from the front of the room all the way to the last row where Matthew Munoz was sitting. Mm. And I sat my little backside down next to him. Mm. Okay? Mm. I ditched my friends. I made like a <sighs> beeline. I almost knocked down people mm. just to sit next to you. No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll take the L for that one. That was, uh, that was me missing some signals. Uh, but no, that, that night was, uh, was really memorable as well. She and I flirted quite a bit. You know, it, it was it was pretty obvious by that point that like something was going to happen, you know, pretty soon. So, why don't you tell them about how we uh, broached the subject, baby? Well, why don't you tell them first about what you prayed <laughs> before I talk about my part? Well, no. At that point, Mary, Mary, and I had pretty visible chemistry. I really liked having her around. Um, I was interested in dating her, but you know. Um, I was like, all right, God, like I intentionally prayed this. I said, all right, God, you know, I'll flirt with her whenever I see her, you know, if I'm okay with whatever you decide, but I'd be all right if we dated, I'd be all right. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be okay with it if we dated, you know, I'd be down, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I was still, I was still perfectly willing to like be friends, but our chemistry was pretty palpable by that point. So I was like, you know, just let me know, God, I'd be, I'd be okay if we dated. I thought you said that you wanted a sign that you felt like you had already put yourself out there and that, um, I needed to give you a sign if we were supposed to date. Oh, well, there was also like, there was also like, um, I thought that's what you prayed. <laughs> <laughs> There's also there was also like we were part of a friend group, so I was kind of afraid of like messing up the friend dynamic and stuff like that. So I you know I also wanted like and plus you know I don't know if you remember but she ran away from me at the comedy show, so you know I, I yeah I'd, I'd say I wanted like a, a palpable sign you know just just to let me know if if it was if it was okay to continue in that direction. Yeah, so that's, <laughs> I'm like, you definitely full on prayed it, because I remember when you told me that, I was so I, I, surprised. I probably did. That sounds like something I would, I would say. But, okay, because the reason I'm <laughs> saying this is because I never, ever, ever. Did you get that? Never. Make moves. Mm -hmm. There's, other than like me showing up in a green dress, giving him the green light. But other than that, like me sitting next to him at an event was my version of moves. The level of also moves. sending also sending Facebook friend requests. Oh, I did send a Facebook. Okay, so can you believe that she considers sending a Facebook it is a move. friend request? That was a move. For Mary Scarpati, that's like a hey. That was like me being 
desperate. I feel like that it's was like so. People just casually I, sit I each swear, other. and we had already been friends for months at this point. But I remember. Well, first of all, I don't even use Facebook, but I we didn't, I didn't have know each other's that at the numbers. Time. So I was like, I need to make it so that if he did want to ask me out, I need to make it easier <laughs> for him to do it. So I'll give him a friendship request, and like he'll know. Exactly. That's I was supposed me. to take that as like, That's oh, me. want to go out on a, That's me. want to go on a nice date. Give him a little. Fellas, when was the last time like a girl sent you a friend request and you were like, oh. They could be me. And they on. could be, they could be thinking they're doing a. <laughs> anyway. Uh, hey. Anyway. Hey, was, look at me. It was super cute. It was super hey, cute. Hey, I'm, now you have a form of communication. So, so what happened? Maybe I interrupted you. Okay. Me. So I Facebook actually came into play because Matthew Munoz didn't get any hints from my green dress and knocking people down. Nope. So, <laughs> so I, I for now this that was probably like still end of April. I'd say so. For the whole early part of May, I could not sleep. I felt restless. I felt like God was calling me to message this guy and like give him more of like encouragement to ask me out but i was like god i prayed for a man that would pursue me and this is not me being pursued so it can't be the right person like if he doesn't ask me out he's not the right guy for me and i shouldn't have to message him mm -hmm. so for almost so like half a month basically 15 days or so i like me and God were having this tug of war, but I literally could not sleep. I felt God being like, you need to message him and this is what you need to say. And it was like such like a low, uncommitted thing to say. Yeah. Like it was really I one of those still things. I have it somewhere. Yeah, I have it too. I, it was one of those messages that if he didn't want to pick up what I, he, it was obvious that I was sending a signal. But if he wasn't interested, it could still, it would be awkward for us to be around each other after. Yeah. And I'm going to read the message. <laughs> She's going to bring it up. I'm going to pull up the we, evidence. We're going to wait with bated breath while Mary Scarpatti brings up her face. Um, let's see. Matthew Munoz, we only have like three yeah, messages yeah. with each other, so it's pretty easy. Um... <laughs> On 522, Dang. so it was, I waited a while. On 522, I sent, I'm so bummed there's no YCP this week. I was looking forward to seeing you. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like, I mean, it was definitely flirty. Yeah, well, by that, by when I got that message, I was like, okay, you know, she wants, she wants either a yes or no by this point, you know, there's enough, enough dancing around the issue, you know, yes or no. Do you want to go out or not? And uh, I did want to go out, so I was like, uh, what did I say, baby? I, I you want to read what you said? I completely forgot what I said. You want to read what you said? I said, I know, I'm bummed as well. It's going to be a while until the next YCP event, lol. <laughs> but we don't have to wait until then, young lady. We can always go out on a date together, see each other a little sooner. And I was like, such a great idea! I'm free Sunday! Yeah, that was, that was right. so, so, I was actually on a trip to Tennessee. I was in Tennessee when she sent that message. Uh, I remember I got it like first thing in the morning because it was like 9 or something like that. And, uh, you know, I was, I, was, I was really happy. I was like, sweet, you know, Mary wants, wants me to ask her out. I'll ask her out. And, um, yeah, so... That was, I was in Tennessee from Monday to Friday. Um, I think we were going to travel back Saturday and I would be back in town Sunday. So my first date was that following Sunday. Yeah. And then, I mean, it wasn't love after that, but <laughs> it definitely was like consistent like where I wanted to keep seeing him and seeing him. Um... And it's been, it gets better and better with time. <laughs> We've only been dating nine months, but. Yeah, we're not, yeah, yeah. And no, it gets better and better. Yeah, no, I mean. My opinion. No, from, from, from there it was always, you know, from there it was never a question of like, oh, this was a big mistake. Like, <laughs> no, 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 no. Obviously not, it was, Matthew. It 
Joe? It was never a, it was never, we never got those feelings. It, you know, we had, we liked each other as friends for months up until this happened. So, you know, we started dating. We already had that foundation and, mm -hmm. you know, we were just romantic now and it was, it was nice. We knew each other had it's the same been a values. Blast ever since. Yes, exactly. And we knew each other had the same values. We both um, are Catholic. We are both practicing Catholics, mm -hmm. like living the Catholic faith the best we can. And we already had that friendship foundation. So like all the important things were there. So I feel like it really set us up for a great relationship. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful. Yeah, there was none of that awkward like small talk. You know, we had yeah. We we were we all we were already vibing every time we saw each other. So yeah, so that's how we started. Yeah, that's how we met and that's started the big dating. Story. Hey guys, it's us in different clothes. <laughs> so uh, the camera just died. So we charged the battery and we're okay now. Yeah, we obviously are in different clothes because it's the next day. We had to go out after and we were kind of running late. So. We didn't have the time to finish the video, but this is us finishing it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we just wanted to wrap up this video by saying, don't be afraid to, uh, don't be afraid of like genuine friendships with people of the opposite sex. You know, like a lot of times I think there's fear of being friend zoned, fear of, uh, you know, not being upfront about feelings and stuff like that and you know certainly be upfront about your intentions and all that but also you know it's it's a lot of genuine lasting relationships uh, start from friendships like ours did so hopefully you took that and a lot of other stuff from this story Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every Wednesday, plus an extra video every week. And if you wanna see that extra video or know, get notified when it's coming out, hit the bell button next to the subscribe and you'll be notified. And also please comment in the comments box what you appreciated about this video, what you liked, what you wanted to ask us. If you have any questions, we could always do a Q&A video. Um, and we'd love to make more content like this. So please just put some suggestions in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope this video gave you hope or excitement or inspiration that, you know, good things come to those who are patient. Mm. True words. Thank you so much. Bye. I know you tried so hard mm -hmm. I know you've done your part It's not fair You did your time